Hi everyone, this is Gio Will from the Fan Production Squared, and we are back to continue our uh, walkthrough let's play for Saints Row 3, Saints Row the 3rd. And, um, actually, let me do this real quick here. Hey, Siri. Set a 40 minute timer. Alright, <clears throat> since a lot of the time, even though there's a, a timer thing on the screen, um, I don't, like, I, t I look at it, but I don't see it, and so, a lot of times what's happening is I'm going past the, um, uh, the limit, uh, hard, the file limit, the, uh, 126 gigabyte limit, and it's fracking up the, the recording file, and I have to go through and fix it, so, um, about 40 minutes is about what it takes to, uh, get, to a point where I can stop and have it be the longest possible. It gets to about 110, 112 gigabytes normally. I'm not really sure for... It might be different for um, St. Ruth there. We'll see. Right now we're sitting at about a minute and a half with about 4 gigabytes worth of, of footage already. Um, so what we're going to be doing tonight is I'm going to be trying to do everything else uh, within the game in this one recording session, hopefully. We shall see what happens. Um... To be honest, um, what we'll do is, is I'm going to skip Jump 37 because it's a pain in the arse. And we're just going to go on from there, and you can go online and look up the thing if you want to figure out how to, where it's at. Though you already know where it's at, because I showed you where it's at. Um, we're going to continue from that, so where's 36? There's like, like half the jumps are over bridges, so. So much chaos, so little time. That makes it a little bit easier. Uh, let's start at 8. 39, or 37. If I can find 37, I'll find 36, because usually they're together. Oh, those are 36. Okay. So, we're going to skip 37. And I think 36, too. I don't think we got that one. So, 6 and 7. Um, so, 38. Yeah, okay. 38 is in. So, 38 um, and 39 are both um, ramp jumps. Off of a bridge. They are located uh, for this bridge here. Where am I at right now? I am. I have no clue where I'm at. Where am I? Oh, this is annoying. Oh, okay, down here. So we're down here by Shandy's Loft. So let's take we take this um, highway over to here, take it off there, and work our way back up to here, and we should have some jumps here that we can do, both across and back. And, we'll, and then uh, we'll go on from there. And then once we do all the rest of the jumps, or we'll, we'll, what I'll do is let's do the thing where if I can't do a jump after four or five attempts, I'm going to skip it. <clears throat> So this game's already messed up in terms of the achievements, so even if there is a, an achievement for getting all the jumps, they probably won't get it because um, a lot of stuff has been uh, kind of screwed over. Um, things haven't been being, uh, weren't, haven't been recorded correctly in the game and whatnot, um, so I'm not worried about achievements or anything like that. So um, What we need is we need a car. Oh, and I think I'll also plug uh, my new mouse. So... For those of you that have been watching my sort of stars walkthrough, let's play, you will know that my old mouse, my the police are always in our shit and we can't get nothing done. Maybe you can thin them out a bit. I guess we gotta do this first. That's fine. Oh my god. Okay. Um. There. Um, well, let's take this car. Anyway, um, so you probably know that my old mouse, which is a Logitech G700, um, has been having some issues with that with the actual clicking, um, the clicker or whatever you want to call it, the 
mechanisms for the left mouse and right mouse click buttons have been, have been started to deteriorate a lot and actually um yeah they don't work very well anymore so it kind of just got to a point where I was like you know what screw it and I decided to buy a new mouse so stuck with Logitech I could do this all day and got a uh, uh, Logitech MX Master, which is actually it's a pretty interesting mouse. It doesn't have it's not a gaming mouse per se, so it doesn't have like the billions of buttons on it, like my uh, G700 does. At the same time, that's um, I think a much higher quality mouse overall. Um. These things are like ridiculously easy when you have all the um, upgrades and don't take any damage. Bloody tank, seriously. Nice. Oh, nice. Came around the other side. Right, so I got an MX Master. Never had a shot. Which um, has some pretty interesting features. Um, one of the things I liked about the G700 was the scroll wheel, how you could lock it and unlock it. So you could switch between uh, more controlled scrolling and having it uh, just, you know, free roll so you can you know, go through larger documents like uh, crap tons of code really quickly. And, um, I really didn't use the buttons that much, to be honest. The only time I ever used the buttons for anything, really, um, all the extra side buttons and whatnot, was during... Okay, so you finished that. Nice. Was during, um, uh, the Assassin's Creed walkthrough. It was the only time I did that. <clears throat> um, mapped anything to those buttons for any game. The only thing I also used it for was um, during uh, while I was working with um, working on uh, um, hammer as well. I had some uh, macros tied to those keys to use them there. I guess there were also some. Uh, it wasn't on those. Uh, the there's other ones for the, the the G keys on my keyboard that had set up. But yeah, so I wasn't really using them for too much. Um, so I figured, you know what? Let's just get a mouse without all those bloody buttons on it and then see how it works out. So that's what I was starting from. But I wanted a mouse that had that scrolling kind of locking feature. And uh, enter the MX Master, which actually has that same function. You can switch between locked and not locked with a button. It also has like a uh, some sort of uh, sensor in the, the mouse wheel that will detect how fast you're spinning it and you can set up a a um, sensitivity in the option logic options that will have it automatically turn to free spinning and then back to lock depending on how fast the mouse wheel is turning um, it's like if you turn at a certain speed it'll it'll unlock itself and become a free floating free spinning wheel um, but then when you slow it down past that point it'll lock itself again and you can have more control um, I thought that was kind of awesome and um, the gesture controls are pretty cool too so what those are is 
you have a, there's a button kind of on the thumb rest that you push down and you move the mouse around in different directions and based on that um, stuff will happen like for example if you want to zoom in you hold down that button and move the mouse forward or zoom out and move it back um, and that allows you to um, use you know, gestures with the mouse to control things in the, on the computer I um, thought that was a pretty interesting feature so it looks like we can't get this then very because this is sp according to the or no wait it's yeah this one but there's no there's no way there would be a jump there though because you have the train tracks going over top of it according to this thing I'm using online, this online map, there should be two jumps here. One going one way, one coming the other way. But there isn't now. And I'm questioning whether there would be any in the first place because you get this, this, you know, track up here that I don't think would actually move. Oh well, so we can't do that one. Um, so that's right in 39, can't do 40. So we just go down a little ways. This way, there should be another similar thing. I bet it's not going to be down, though. Or not be up, I mean. It's going to be down. Yeah, this one. This one's not up either, so we can't do that. So I'm thinking a lot of these ones over on this section are not going to be doable. So 44, 45, maybe, maybe that one. Let's check that one. Uh, well, I don't know, maybe not. It's basically going to be the same thing as the one we were just trying to do over here. Yeah, so that one could be up, but it's down now. I think it's because we've beaten the game. And um, the stag, you know, stag doesn't have control over everything anymore. That kind of sucks. Yeah, no, it's not. So we're going to skip all the way to 40... Now 47 is like that. So let's try... Yeah, I think we already got those. So what about to the zombie stuff should still be there. So everything else is like revolving around the zombie island, so let's head that way. So I know we've got this one and there was one over here we got we got the one over here. I know we have this one and these ones. Where had those. So there's one over here, 63 and 62. Which is this bridge here. Right off this friendly fire. So let's send us over. Let's go over to the friendly fire. Or rather put the, the navigation marker there. This has to be a no door car. Okay, for another ball. Come on, car door. Damn you. <laughs> I'm trying to hit, hit the car door onto other cars without crashing into them. It's really quite um, difficult. Okay, there we go. I still got one door though. Not sure how to make that door come loose. Now the car's just gonna blow up now. Oh yes, it's loose. Yes! We did it. No doors on this car. Awesome. Lightened it up a bit. Now I'll go further on over tank of gas. Holy crap. No, I think you did, because you're the one that ran into me. Thank you very much. Horrible, horrible police officer. I think I was crashing into crime bosses' cars for no apparent... And no good reason. 
Okay. Oh, come on. I was going to take your car. I got to drive this huge piece of crap. All right, so here we are. Yes, we can do this. Not sure if it's going to be very easy to do with this. That's so a huge freaking car. It's not going to have... Oh, that's right. We have uh, the we have the nitrous on everything now. See, the game doesn't even realize where I'm at. It's like loading things up like it's supposed to be like a normal area, but it's not even a normal area. This I don't know, whatever engine this game is built on is so freaking buggy. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if we said it was frostbite. Yes, got that one. So I'm thinking maybe we already got the one going the other direction. Because we just went over and didn't unlock it, but it might just be because... Yeah, hey, we already got that one, okay. Or the zombies gone. Maybe the zombies are just gone. Either, it's either the zombies are gone or this game is tripping so hard right now. Trying to figure out what the hell it's supposed to be doing in this area. Yeah, stunt jump. Now that was a stunt jump. That, that was a real stunt jump. <laughs> With rolls and crashes and parts flying off the car and everything. That's what a stunt jump's supposed to be. I like how it just like hits the ground and stops. You can actually probably go do that thing now. The um, the uh, what's my call guy over here? The yeah, this guy. Finally, now there's no. Oh god. Now it spawns zombies. Oh my god. Yeah, this game was tripping so hard. Who else wants some? It was like. Well, I know this is not supposed to be here, but I'm going to put these regular people here anyway because I have no clue what's going on. And you come down a little ways further and it's like, oh, right, this is the zombie island. What the hell? This is the zombie island. I should be making zombies, not regular people. So I'm going to put zombies in right now. And then that happens and um, you go over here to try and talk to that guy and you either get killed or he gets killed or you can't do the thing and so now you can't do the finish the uh, photo op thing because he's stuck there. Oh crap. That wasn't my fault. Blame the car company. Their cars aren't aren't built strong enough. They you know get destroyed after just three or four jumps. It's no fault of mine. I think I already got these. So I think there's some up here. I think there's one or two up here. Yeah, here's one here. I already unlocked those. And so here we are again. Now we got regular people and zombies at the same time. I love a good fight. This game is just so messed up in this in the regards to this area. I think it's because this the way it's meant to be, it's meant that you're supposed to not keep the virus. You're supposed to destroy it and thereby, you know not keep having zombies here or something. But when you t when you choose to keep it, it breaks the game. Now see, to me, that should have been a stun jump, because I haven't been over that thing yet, I don't think. But I didn't get anything for going over it. Take it easy. 
Maybe I have already gotten it, I don't know. So, let's go back over to the other side. And, well actually that's all of them then. There's only 63 jumps. See all those blue ones, there's like, there's a bunch of them, I'm not sure how many, but there's like at least 10 or 15 blue ones I think we missed because the, the bridges are no longer down. Okay, that, that works for me. I'm fine with saying that uh, we can't do any more of the jumps, we've gotten everything else. I'm not going to go check all of them to make sure that's true, but I'm just going to assume it is. <laughs> Anything to get this thing, this walkthrough done. Anything. <clears throat> Okay, um, so now we have our other things to do. Wait, right, so there's still some collectibles over here? So there's still two collectibles there. There's two here. We got all the ones from there, we got all the collectibles from there, no collectibles here, we got the collectible from there, it doesn't show anything here because it's not some district. So I've still got two here and two here, and nowhere everywhere else we have gotten all the collectibles. That kind of sucks, but okay, it's fine. Um, let's go to, let's for August to get the cash, I guess. And Saints book. Um, all the assassinations are complete, so it's vehicle theft time. So, Yearwood. I wonder if I could just go get one from my own garage. I'm pretty sure I probably have one. Okay, I have no clue where I'm going now. Apparently nowhere, because, well, yeah, I'm going into a, a, a wall at a high speed and I'm going to explode. So I can go to a hospital and get respawned and go get a car. All right, so we need to find. So we have the let's boat dock. Then we want to go to the the Saint HQ curb, I guess. I guess if we have a compensator. So this is a very good argument for why you should every car you find you should try and get into your garage because then you can just take it from your garage maybe. Sorry, officers, I'm going the other way. Well, you're screwing around over there. Oh, wow. Windshield cannon. Nice. My car is pretty fracked up, but whatever. So, three, four, 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 nine. And there's the HQ. Carpedo damage total. We gotta be able to do more damage. Oops. Carpedo, 
Come on. Nice. That's how I roll. Give me your car. It's time for me to torpedo it. I should do it right into a gas station. That'd be awesome. There's that gas station back there. Oh man. Oh cool, this kept on going. Oh crap. Think of it as a learning experience. Because I can. And because this car is hideously ugly. I have no freaking clue where I'm going with it. And sir, who puts a who puts a spoiler on a friggin' mini van or whatever the hell this thing is? On the roof of it. It's like what? Makes no sense. Try us again. Seriously, it didn't explode. It wasn't going fast enough. Insurance. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, Paul, that worked out well. That wasn't supposed to happen. Two hundred twenty, that's awesome. What the hell? Stand over there. Yes, I did. That's how you do it. I'm pretty good this Carpedo thing. I'm not going to do all the challenges. That'd be stupid. Plus, some of the challenges are broken anyway. The streaking challenge is obscenely broken for some reason. Doesn't even work properly. Let it go. You're gonna have to stop sometime. Take it easy. 
And we finished carpeted damage. Alright, let's go back to the, uh... Just so you know, like, how freaking far off, um, course we are here. <laughs> we were going to the Saints HQ, and we ended up, I don't know, way over here somewhere. On the quest for the ultimate carpedo damage. What would be cool is if that the game tracked every car you destroyed, and for every car you destroyed, a new license plate was generated, like a number of license plates. So, never you see like like the five thousand number should be how many cars you destroyed. Regular cars, not criminal cars. That'd be kind of an interesting thing. So you need a criminal, right? No, Compensator, which I do have. <laughs> Personal injury cash. All right, so. So we have to kick it from here all the way over to there. Great. That should be fun. Now I have to try and not destroy this car. That's the hard part is not destroying a car you're driving in this game. It's much too fun to destroy the car. That's also hard because you have to actually drive correctly. Somewhat. So you don't screw off the cops. And unlike an SR2, there's no limit, I think, to the damage you take. As long as you don't have any any heat on you, they'll take it. An SR2, if you had too much damage, it'd be a, you know, you'd fail the mission and have to start over again. So you could see that as a dumbing down of the game, I guess. A lot of things seem there, like the shops, for example. You know, every shop has every single, every single item that you can buy. Doesn't matter. That's definitely a dumbing down from the original game, from not original, but from SR2. What the hell? I have the compensator. It doesn't have to be a specific car, because I've seen them around with multiple of the same cars before floating around to hijack. God, the one that I want you to take is like, is literally a gang operation thing. Which is stupid. Hey chums, have a nice good. cup of tea. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of the heat by calling up our buddies. That's why you need me. And drop our gang heat. <laughs> 